Hello guys, uh, today we are going to discuss uh, what are the types of programmable logic controller. So uh, basically programmable logic controllers can be divided into two types. Number one is the modular and uh, the other one is industrial. Um, in modular type of PLC, we have uh, modules. Um, uh, in the modular form that we can replace the modules like input module output module if your module is faulty you can replace it and some modules are plug and play type that you can replace them uh, online hot hot replaceable so capacity and functionality can be addressed as required and then removed to be used elsewhere the other type is the industrial type suitable for the uh, temperature, humidity, vibration and voltage variation and designed for 24 hour operation. So this is a particular type of computer which is uh, suitable for the industrial environment that is the harsh environment where there are vibrations, where there are high temperature, there are high humidity and there are voltage variations and the still the uh, computer has to remain online uh, continuously. Uh, the other uh, thing is about the monolithic PLC. The opposite of the modular PLC would be the monolithic PLC. In that PLC, inputs and outputs and uh, other modules in one package. Uh, these are mini PLC. You can say that the mini PLC and, and the big PLC system we have modular types. Now, what are the benefits of the PLC? Uh, number one benefit uh, I have written here is the safe operation of plant. The plant can be operated safely because there are very minimal chances uh, in programming of a PLC. You have the logic defined, we are getting input and we are getting accurate output. PLC can also be used for the plant safe uh, safety system like shutdown system. We define the shutdown levels on various sensors and when that value reaches, the plant automatically shuts down. Um, uh, a human can ignore such signals but a computer cannot uh, the third one is the startup pre-checks sometimes we cannot just start the machine we need to check certain parameters for example for an engine we need to check whether there is certain pressure build up for the lube oil where there are certain RPM achieved uh, where there are certain uh, pre-checks have to be completed then this can be done in a PLC which gives the start permissive signal only then when certain conditions are met and the final one is logging event that the event can be logged something happened and due to which a shutdown occurred now you can track uh, through the event uh, alarms uh, sorry trend you can check the trends uh, trends of the uh, sensors uh, this can be done easily with the help of PLC further advantages are reliability it's highly reliable it's flexible you can modify the control as per your need and it is easy to troubleshoot if you have certain skills and experience then it will become very easy for you to troubleshoot the PLC and uh, it reduces the space requirement hardware requirement earlier version it is revisable, it is of lower cost and, uh, and of course the modularity that it is in the form of modules and you can uh, uh, replace the 40 module uh, whenever you want. Thank you.